Carl here from Games Brains and Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for sure, and it's my pleasure, absolute pleasure to be standing with Son of Boar. Gentlemen, 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 how are we all doing? Sweet, yeah, great, yeah. Small, small, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah? Okay, well, we've got to talk about it then. How was it? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah? Awesome. yeah. Awesome. Loved it. Great. Every yeah. second of it, want to do it again. Great atmosphere. Brilliant. Crowd was great as well. Crowd, Crowd was great as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most important thing, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A bit of a worrying end because I put my snare through. Right at the end, I was like, oh, dear. Okay, well, it's all good. It, it, it lasted for when it needed it, so it's all right. It, it, yeah, at least if it's going to do that, it does it on the last song. Yeah, Who cares after that point? No one's noticing anyway, they're too into it. Was that a matter of you were watching and like people just started to mill in more and more and more, that kind of thing? Because that seems to be the bloodstock kind of way of doing things. Yeah. Stand at the side, oh yeah, here's the slot, and then come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's so, what it was with us. A bit slow to get started, but then the second song in, it, it filled right out. So it was, and because, it was nice to see. Nice because to see. we were pretty quick with the changeover, we were kind of just sort of waiting on stage. Like, do we start now? Or do, yeah, we, yeah. do we need to wait to the time? Yeah. And then they were just like, well, we're going to introduce it. Like, all right, so we just sort of. Like Try, trying to sneak an extra five minutes in. Oh, well, okay, we'll do that. Buzz up runs to quite a tight, tight time limit. So, yeah. The, the crew were awesome, though, in the changes. Yeah, yeah. Really, all credit to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've yeah. been treated well. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're, they're brilliant. Absolutely couldn't fault anything that they've done today. They've looked after this to know why they're flying. Yeah. Shout out to Steve. Yeah. The guitar tech. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and Simon's pointed them up. Yeah, Simon, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just answered a uh, call for applications online. Like we, we thought we'd have to go through yeah, yeah. and all that kind of thing, but put out a call for fans that were interested to send us information and stuff mm -hmm. and we got through. Very lucky. We were well shot. Yeah. We were very, very lucky able to have gone this way. Really lucky to even make it here as well afterwards. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you do you feel like you've got like you've had the extra opportunity because obviously the state of the world and the state of this country and what we're going through, um, and this being now quite predominant British basically yeah. Yeah. festival, yeah. you think that's benefited you? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean we we probably wouldn't have been on this festival if it hadn't been for COVID. Really, mm. they had so many bands on that had to pull out or they, had, they couldn't make it or they couldn't do it. It's just a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Massive shame, but we got the opportunity thankfully for it. Been, so. I think it's it's also demonstrated though, how strong the British underground metal. have this incredible experience of getting to play live but it's also a, re a re meeting back up with people and yeah. friends yeah, and family. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, nice just looking at the crowd and seeing faces that we recognise. Yeah. helps level you down a bit, you know, and helps settle you a little bit. Yeah, see just people you recognise. Even, like, not even other bands, but just like people we know from back home in Bradford came out for this festival. It's the biggest metal festival in the UK this year, I think that one is. So, like, the only people one. we know are here, just to see them in the crowd and be like, oh, if everyone's here, this is going to be hits. Even people that uh, engage with sports and stuff, that we haven't met in person, but, you know, really sort of, you know, yeah. egg is on and tag is in and stuff. The support for this has been awesome. Yeah, All yeah. the bands. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really awesome. 18 months-ish of this. <laughs> How has Son of Ball been coping in the pandemic times? Abusing uh, each other, usually, that like, verbally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> got to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> So as, as much as possible, we've rehearsed whenever we've been allowed to, so we've managed to still kind of keep things ticking over. Mm. It was a bit of a bad thing, really, because we got everything sorted. We, we paired up with Rocky Rocker Records and we were like ready to release his album and everything, and then it was just sort of like, everything's locked down, we need to wait, and then like, okay. So yeah. we got to wait like a year before we can announce everything, and like, before we can start building up again. Yeah. Also, like partially recording the album during like uh, lockdown and everything. Yeah. Doing yeah. some work from home, sending it to the engineer, and then like you know putting it back through office and stuff, and uh, getting like one person sessions in with just with the engineer. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had to the second half of the album, uh, or the vocals anyway, uh, after lockdown. So them guys had gone in and done most of it. I'd done a couple of tracks beforehand, and you know, the lockdown came in, so we couldn't do anything at all. As soon as we could get back in the studio after lockdown, we're in there straight away. Uh, we got it done. It's turned out well, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really good you, I would hope it. I hope, I hope from your perspective it did turn out well. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah. talked we to anyone this weekend who's gone. Oh no, it was terrible. It was the, yeah, our yeah. album was the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be 
fair, like I say, I think Will be there as, as well. He's the greatest critics, you know what I mean? Of course. Which he's always going to be, yeah. as your own music, so. Well, also, go buy it. <laughs> there is that aspect as well. Lyndon's got kids to feed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What is that the most positive thing you think you can take from the last 18 months? Because we know how negative it's been for every band from the biggest. You know, Devin Townsend's headlining and he's gone through crap to the smallest person that's opened in the new blood on the very first day. What positive stories have you got from this period? Things that you can look at and reflect on and go, you know what, that wasn't so bad for us. We've managed to do a couple of gigs right at the start of this year. Yeah. Where we did uh, voice breaking like a teenager. Where we did um, some gigs that were really good. Um, no, um, we did a live gig at Felpa Wood, that was pretty awesome, it was mm. just mushers in the woods, which is just weird, Incredible. and it was Very awesome, really I was like, you know, nobody dressed for camping, everyone just dressed for metal, well. <laughs> yeah, and then we did a, a live stream gig at a venue in Bradford, mm -hmm. the underground, and that was pretty cool, it was, it was unusual to be playing yeah. to like, to know just another cameras, band yeah. and cameras, yeah. but it was interesting, it got us out to people, so people have adapted and done the best they can in the circumstances and it's, it's been sort of good for the scene in a way because everyone's been in that situation and tried to support okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think because of COVID as well, fans have come out more as well, especially with yeah. like yeah. Camp, Camp Friday and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like they've really made the effort to buy people stuff or even if they don't, to share it around mm. and it, it just builds the community so much more yeah. than yeah. what was there before. I mean, it was there already but Doom scene's always had a pretty good circle. You know, it's always, always look after each other and you know, we always try to be as nice as we can. Like it's a bit nicest guys in Doom, like. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we managed to write a lot of new material because we had no gigs to reverse yeah, yeah. spots, so that's always a positive. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is, absolutely. What about when, if and when things slowly start to get back to normal? Let's hope this is the launch pad to that. Do you think there's going to be a wave of sold out shows basically, heavy support because we've had no live, or do you think there might be a bit of trepidation? So. I hope there's a little sold out shows, <laughs> yeah. that'd be sick. I think it'll probably start off a bit skittish and then it'll build up. Yeah. I think it's just people getting the trust back to coming out and yeah, the water, being able to be, obviously, like we, yeah. we've all had a COVID at some point throughout this time, yeah. you know. It was not Every one of you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, me and Gaz um, just got over it. Got COVID last week. Holy shit, dude. So my my isolation ended yesterday. Okay. Um, so that's how we made it to the gig today. So we were saying earlier, we've had technically the worst possible one stuff we could have had, but it's still been it. Because we got here today, we've done the gig, everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Like, <laughs> some of my gear got left in the storeroom. We, obviously, we got COVID, so it was last minute whether we could come or not, mm. all this kind of stuff. But it's still been it. And it's still got here. Like, the atmosphere is amazing. It's like it's a roller coaster week of we're not going. Oh, we are going. Can we go? Oh, can we are going. Yeah, it's fine. It's for like yeah. going forward, I think like this is almost entirely sold out in a way. Yeah. In it, like you know, I think people are ready for live music and stuff again. Big events like this, people have got a lot of confidence in. You do all the testing on the door. Everyone's yep. got to be clear and all that kind of thing. Uh, like that's one of the things that we we had to test yesterday to see if we could get clear and we were like we could do and screamed my house down. <laughs> and then, so then, like, it's the smaller venues that I think people will be a bit, a bit furtive about because you don't know how well enforced it's going to be. As well. But we know good promoters who will enforce that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like you guys have done gigs, yeah, you've hosted them. Yeah, yeah, we've put gigs on and we've had good turnouts. I am Bob Wilkins. Hit us up, Judas Priest. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play Bradford? <laughs> Drop in. So what? What's plans now then going forward? What's the hopeful plans? What have you got in the works? It's all the album that we never got to talk. Yeah. So that's it. We've literally got every weekend this month booked up now. Uh, we're booked right up until Christmas for now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of rolled over ones uh, from last year. So yeah, some of the other sort of independent festivals with Pollution and so like Sophie Fest. Sophie Fest. Yeah. We got lined up for last year, but then they've just rolled everything yeah. over. So it's good. It's worked out alright for us, but it means that then, in a way, it's also tricky because so many venues now are rolling over gigs. Mm -hmm. that they're already booked up. Yeah, so you're going to struggle. So it's all good though. It just means that now we're looking at like back in the year and next year already. So yeah, which is incredibly it's exciting. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. We've got like, like a manifest as well. That's manifest. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's a strong lineup as well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We're, we're in an amazing job with that. Yeah. 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 We've gone from one day to three days just all in lockdown. Yeah. So it's made it grow so much. Yeah, that's what it shows. We we got booked on through, but it was like a, a single day, day festival, yeah. and we were like, 
Are we good enough? Come yeah, on, yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBL.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?